Let's take a look at the Homelanders in Elderhood. Now, again, they're not there yet. They're just kids right now, right? But we know this generation because their archetype is the artist archetype. And we actually have some living artists archetypes still around. They're the silent generation. And depending on your age, whoever's listening and your relationship to people born 1925 to 1942, for me as an Xer, this is my parents' generation, but you may know this generation in various ways, depending on your relationship with people in that age range. So again, let's take a quick look at elderhood is defined as approximately being 66 to 87 years of age. Your role in elderhood is that you steward society. You transfer values to the younger generations and you lead institutions at a senior level of leadership, particularly on the earlier half of your elderhood years. Obviously, you're more likely to be a senior leader in your late 60s, maybe into your mid 70s as you are in your early 80s, right? Okay, so let us take a look here at how this generation is in elderhood. Their leadership style is one that is indecisive. They are seen by others as being sensitive and flexible. And overall, the way this generation is treated in its elderhood is that they are liked. They're a very decent generation, the most decent of the four archetypes. In their elderhood, they are hip, they're well off, they are the millionaires next door, they're relatively healthy and active and adventurous. They're also uncertain, anxious, guilt-ridden, atoning for the guilt they feel, and yearning very much so to always be youthful and younger. They're compassionate, fair, polite, nice, and generous. They are also colorless, ignoble, and as a generation, they are unpitied, unwept, and unmourned. That, my friends, is the Elder Homelanders and their likely life path. Again, they share the artist archetype, as mentioned earlier, with the silent generation, born 1925 to 1942. The Homelanders in the United States and Canada are born 2005 to approximately 2027. All this material is sourced from the wonderful work by William Strauss and Neil Howe in their many, many books on generations. And thank you so much for being part of this journey. This concludes and is our last um, video in this 25 words series about the different generations and understanding them at their various phases of life. As always, if you have enjoyed this work, a like, a share, a follow, a subscribe on our various social media channels means the world to us. Thank you so much. You can find more information as well on our generationswork.com resources page where we have lots of free resources for people to understand and learn more about generations and the archetypes. Thank you so much. Have a great day.